Alright, this is the Society of the Blind Eye. Didn't really learn anything in this one. I mean, not much. No. No, no. Okay, no. kind of, but you could skip it. Some, um, some about Dipper and Mabel and Wendy and Sue's finding the club of the no homos. Yeah, weird. Um, so we definitely thought that was Patrick Stewart, but it's not. It's, I think the voice, it says the voice of Darth Maul by just, yeah, in The Phantom Menace. So he, he was the guy that voiced Darth Maul, obviously, uh, didn't do the stunts or anything, but, um, Okay, so uh, a bunch of interesting stuff, obviously. Uh, Where do you start? Well, the funny thing... Well, you were I, right about the McGucket thing. Well, no, the, no, no, uh, no, but here's the thing. I forgot... I forgot the details of this episode, so when I was saying, like, may maybe he's the author or something like that, it's like, oh, yeah, they clearly say he's not the author. <laughs> uh, so, my bad. No, but he, he knows the author. He d yeah, he does know the author. So... Um, and... Uh, Pretty much the setup is that uh, they think he's the author, so they go uh, to figure out what his story is, and they find the Society of the Blind Eye, who erases the memory of people who see, like, supernatural stuff. Kind of shocked they haven't come across Dipper and Mabel yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how did they skip that? Um, but nevertheless, and maybe they're just not very good, or they kept blocking out their own mind, who knows, but... Uh, so they come across this, and apparently this founder was the one who put it together, but they've erased their minds so much they forget. And when they finally, um, so they have this great big fight and everything, and they erase their memories, and they have the memories of McGucky in there. Turns out he was this brilliant, uh, scientist who I think... I had to look back, but I think when he was looking at what he knows about the journal, you know, like, there is a picture of a professor, uh, and I thought it was the guy from, um that you're going to see in the next episode, the one Mark Hamill played, but it's not. It, it's McGuggan, so my bad. They look kind of similar. Uh, you just know, like, the past comments. Mm. People are like, no, it wasn't that. It was this person. So, uh... This is my first time seeing it, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you're fine. You're I get a free pass. My, my memory... I'm one of those guys who, like, has probably had the gun used on a million times because my memory is terrible. Um, but, yeah, but we do have... Um, and it's revealed that he had this, uh, he was the founder and that he had this brilliant mind. He's been working with the author, uh, but is not actually the author himself. Uh, and he just got too addicted to the ray gun and... Became all crazy McGuckin! Now fight like a hillbilly! <laughs> so, I love the, not just the banjo, but the raccoon, the stuffed raccoon, and then... What was the, oh, uh, dysentery. Yeah. <laughs> reminds, dysentery! Dysentery! Reminds me of Oregon Trail. I... I sucked at that game because I always died of dysentery. Everybody did. That's, like, that was always the thing. No, but I mean, like, I mean, literally, I'm like, pack for your adventure. You're in Independence, Missouri. Pack for your adventure, and I'm buying supplies. It's like, you've died of dysentery. And I'm like, I haven't even left yet. So so the briefcase computer laptop is uh, is his because his last name was, like, what was it? Uh, uh, Fiddle Ford, something like that. Um, I believe that's what they said. Uh, Fiddle Ford! But, uh, anywho... Um, so he decides he's gonna try and, uh, sort of get his memory back and, and keep inventing stuff and see what he can remember. Um, and then we have an ending with Stan, once again, the machine, that seems to be a portal. It seems to be like a Stargate hmm. is the big thing, because stuff goes in there. Uh, he hurts hand, the price says, I don't care how long it takes, it's gonna happen. My theory now, because, uh, McGuckett Send brings James up... Send James in first. Yes. Uh, because McGuckett brings up, also, it was in 1982, and I think that's when the calendar was, and they kept saying 30 years ago. Uh, so, again, there's some sort of connection there. If I had to guess, because he talks about, um, you know, like, a past girlfriend, stuff like that, and had the calendar, I think there's even pictures of a woman. My guess is that he lost somebody, like, in that portal or whatever. Could be. But, and yeah, 1982 does keep getting brought up, so. Yeah. Uh, that's definitely when all this shit went down, apparently. Yeah, and 30 years and all that stuff. Um, so, a, a couple interesting things in the uh, codes here. I, I can't I can't see which one is the ending credits, but uh, one is, if my suspicions are correct, this is the work of Fiddle Ford... Does he really have to go to s such great lengths to forget? That was something that, according to this, was the Journal 3 entry on the blind eye uh, has this symbol that says that. So, okay, and nothing big, but the interesting thing, when the last thing that McGucket says on the video before it goes off, he's like, you know, yeehaw, I'm McGucket now, and he makes a little triangle with his head and he says something, uh, I think, backwards. Um... He's, oh, no, no, he's speaking in uh, Atbash, which transfers out to Bill Cipher Triangle. So he knows something about Bill Cipher. He's had some sort of run-in with him, which is interesting. 
And then the final line, I think this is the credits one. Yeah, uh, ignorance is bliss, but bliss is boring. I like that. Um, so yeah, a lot of interesting stuff. That is to, true. A lot of interesting stuff to take in. The one, if Jason and Jory were here watching us right now, I get a feeling uh, there's something very similar that happens in Adventure Time with an old kook who's actually a genius. And I'm... Because obviously they use a lot of the same people from Adventure Time for this, a lot of the same voice actors, a very similar sense of humor. I, I'm wondering if that was either a send-up or they, they had sort of the same idea at the same time or something. It's not it's, an unheard of trope either. Yeah, I mean, but it's not quite to a point where it's like rip-off familiar, but it's like, I was watching it, it's like, okay, this is really ringing some bells, even down to watching it on the TV. Uh, and and it, it just looked very, very similar. But... Um, I, I think it's fine, you know, it's still enough of its own thing, and yeah, I, I really like how they took sort of this side character, you know, who, who was kind of like just a funny character in the background, made him like this really big focus. I'm wondering if that was always planned. I could actually see it always being planned. I don't know, I think there's some sort of plan going on here, because he seems to have a concept of where he's going with the mystery, like it seems to... I don't know. But, I, but you know you know how these things work. Like if, we're halfway, if character... Okay, so we're halfway through summer, according to season two, which means like maybe he planned this out as a three-season show that, you know... Could be. Maybe it's like Avatar. Maybe it's got like a big game middle and end. Um, so, but yeah, it, it's, it's a good episode regardless of, you know, being very similar Adventure Time. But uh, I, I like giving this guy a, a past story. I like you find out more about the mystery. Uh, I like... The side story with Mabel trying to forget about boys is okay, but I, th I think it was worth it just to see Wendy make a beard hair and just go, testosterone! I thought that was pretty funny. Um, as a man, I was very offended, by the I, way. How dare you? Our gender is not a joke. Um, it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny at That's all. That's the internet that can be... That both is oversensitive and not sensitive enough. <laughs> That's the interesting thing about it. Um, but, no, I thought that was really funny. Uh... And yeah, just, just a, a lot of codes, a lot of mystery in this one, but it still had a lot of really good laughs. And yeah, I enjoyed it. How about you? I thought it was really good. I don't have much to talk about because I just keep thinking of the damn mystery now. And I'm yeah, like, you see, like this one especially, it's like, hmm, yeah. No, you had an interesting theory that was debunked. I did? But No, about... Uh, you said, well, I you thought know, he could be the author. Was good? No, no, no. You say he could be the author because he has the cast on his hand. Maybe that's hiding the oh, six Oh, yeah. So I thought that was an interesting. The thought, old, but then you see him with a cast. Yeah, the old, later. the old coot. I'm like, well, they said six fingers, and he has a cast on his hand. Maybe he had one of the fingers chopped off or something. But no, they seem to have debunked it. If well, because later in the you see him with five fingers early, and then later hmm. you see him like in a cast. Like you know, I saw a little man. It was disturbing or, or something. But it's still like. You do wonder how did he get the cast, though. It's You see him in the process, like he gets it, the arm brace. Do we know if the no. author's a man or a woman? Have they ever been gender specific, like he or she? I don't believe so. Um, what if it's Grunkle Stan's wife or lover or girl? Like, Could be. I, maybe she was just born with a, a six finger or something. I'm making no, it no, up. No, 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 no. I have <laughs> no, 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 no I, idea what I'm No, no, I think about. they said, though, didn't the shapeshifters say, uh, say it was a he, that six fingered? Well, but even then, did, did he say he? It's a shapeshifter. Who believes those guys? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, it could be. It could I be. think we can trust Mark Hamill. Yeah, he's never played a villain ever. Um, in that fight, he's like the world's most famous hero in all of film, and then after that, he plays nothing but bad guys. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. I'm Luke Skywalker, and then he's like, I gotta butch this up. Next thing you know, Joker Jared, and every other villain Lord. on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> um, he has such a diabolical voice. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what was it say? Oh, um, Swatch Alert! Um, <laughs> the dog stretching across. This, yeah. This week's show was brought to you by the sweater, weird stretchy dog 70s sweater shirt thing. <laughs> Maybe it's a so. cat dog. <laughs> yeah, but, um, um, I don't know. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed this one. I, we're marathoning these, so this is like episode seven, and... We're probably I, gonna take a break after this one. I woke up at five in the morning, and I've been watching these, you know, since seven o'clock, and it's... We're past noon now, so I think I'm just running my brains just shutting down. Well, I think after this, as of now, when this has come out, there's only two episodes left. Uh, we'll do the next two, two a show. couple days from now before I leave for Christmas and, break, and then... And I've only seen the And then we'll one. just have to do it, yeah, like, whenever it's released, so... Yeah, and I, I've only seen uh, the, the next one, uh, 
Uh, after that, I haven't seen whatever, The Love God or whatever it's called. Uh, so yeah, every episode after this really will be like, you know, I, like, seeing it for the first time. I mean, not knowing anything of what's gonna happen and stuff, so that'll be interesting. But, yeah, no, I, this was a really, really good episode, and I'm, I am into the mystery. I think now that they're trying to solve or give us some answers, like, because going into it, I didn't know what the mystery was. I, so... Now it feels like it's coming together. I mean, you've watched it once already, so I don't even know what to look for. I, I like because you're I, watching it with him is both fun and maddening because he'll like he'll have his little like note thing here and go, oh, 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 it's like, and like what? scribble something down. I'm like, what? What did you see? He's like, Nothing. Oh, so you mean you didn't see that triangle? In the I background? did not do that. I do not do that. I, I tried uh, very hard and, not no, to do that. No, he actually twiddled his goatee like a, I'm trying to like call a, a villain, villain with a top hat yeah. and a monocle. <laughs> but there is a monocle in the book. Bill Cipher oh. has only one eye. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, but he's always like, oh, 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 oh. and I'm like, what are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> like, there is just a lot of stuff I never noticed. Oh, I see your funny jokes. You know, my memory's so terrible. Anyway, I'll forget it, so I, I have to write it down. Um, so, but yeah, that good episode. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Yeah, just interesting, interesting, very interesting. Mm. Who's the author? Well, I, I can't possibly solve this mystery. Can you?